Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2021 Panini Prism UFC Retail 2 box break, random division number 1. 11 spots, I'm going to get to random weight class division in the list below, all card ship from men's bantam weight down to women's straw weight. So, uh, here is a list of customers from Jonathan McClay down to Arthur Sears. And the list of the divisions from men's bantam weight down to women's straw weight. Dice roll to randomize both lists and pair them up. A one and a one. Snake eyes. Two times. One. Two. Daniel Lyman down to Arthur Sears. And two times on the divisions. One and two. From men's light heavyweight down to women's straw weight. So two times on the divisions, two times on the customers, two times on the dice. So trade window is open. We'll read off the full list. So Daniel Lyman with the men's light heavyweight division. Pablo Chacon with the women's flyweight division. Arthur Sears with the men's flyweight. Daniel Lyman with the men's middleweight. Jonathan McClay with the men's bantamweight. Arthur Sears with the women's feather and bantamweight divisions. Pablo Chacon with the men's heavyweight. Arthur Sears with the men's welterweight. Daniel Lyman with the men's featherweight. Daniel Lyman with the men's lightweight. And Arthur Sears with the women's strawweight division. So trade window is open. Um, I, I don't think it's legit, Arthur. I don't think it's legit all, at all. Nor do I think this Mayweather one is, too. But, who knows. So, we'll give it a, a little bit, uh, give it a chance for trades, if anybody is looking to potential trades at all. Okay, if no talks of trades, then we'll go ahead and do it. So, going once, going twice, going three times, trade window closed. Jaleon Love, Steve. I don't even know who that is. I don't even think I know that name. Is that another? Is that another uh, celebrity like YouTuber or something like that? So there's the final list. Well, I mean, Tyron Woodley's not a not a, a big name in UFC anymore. He's been on a losing streak for a while. Um, it's not like he's like an actual threat in the division at all. But no, because if Tyron Woodley gets somehow knocked out in this, it's not real. Like, we understand that he's fighting Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather this weekend, right? Color Blast and Ganu, Damien? That'd be pretty cool. Um, 
Like... Yeah. It's not real. That's why I would like... If, if somebody asked me earlier, they're like, would you would you place a bet on Tyrod Woodley? I was like, I wouldn't base a, place a bet on that at all. Like, I wouldn't place a bet on a, on a Jake, uh, Jake Paul fight at all. Because that's like saying, like, hey... Do you want to bet on this next uh, WWF fight or WWE fight? No, it's scripted. You don't know how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen, but the, the win has already been determined. It's just... Uh, do they have color glass in retail? I don't know, Mikey. I don't know. But we have four boxes to find out. Two here and two in the next two box retail break. What's XDD? I don't know that. There is a pink pulsar right there, which is what we're looking for. Later, guys. Have a good night. Oh. I have no clue. I was like, wait, what? I was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, I will, Jake. I will. You know what's funny, too, Jake? I was going to message you. I think I found a, uh, a Topps Chrome non-update Sapphire as well. Fox. Um, I'll, so I'll hunt for you once I get through uh, case breaks. But I think I have another, br uh, another case break after this as well. I got to go through orders, but I'm pretty sure I do. I mean, it's it's not though, Arthur. It's, the UFC could care care less. You know what I mean? It's not it's not gonna be a sanctioned fight. It's not gonna be like anything legit. The UFC like the the UFC probably cares as much about that fight as they do about you know letting Brock Lesnar fight in the in the in WWF or Ronda Rousey fighting in WWF. It doesn't matter to them. It doesn't matter to them at all. Um, on YouTube, Fresh, we start typically at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Either 1 or 2 p.m. Pacific time. Seven days a week. On Instagram for personals, we start usually either 2 or 3 p.m. Pacific time. I mean, same thing. I don't know if it will affect the general view of MMA. Because it's not what, what he's doing is an MMA, right? Yeah. Well, I kind of expected I'd see you in the chat at some point anyway, so I was like, I'll see him. I'll just remember that way I can, if I if it's still here, I can let you know. Okay, good luck, guys. You've got Alistair Overeem, knockout artist. That's going to be for the heavyweight division. Men's heavyweight division, Pablo Chacon. Rafael Asuncao for the men's bantamweight division. That is Jonathan McClay. Eight. 
Israel Adesanya. That's for the middleweight division. Champion, Daniel Lyman. And Aspen Ladd Silver for the bantamweight division for women. That's for the featherweight bantamweight dual spot, Arthur Sears. Uh, remember, guys, all card shit as well. Jamal Hill for the light heavyweight division, rookie silver. Light heavyweight is Daniel Lyman. And Cynthia Calvillo, silver for the women's flyweight division and Pablo Chacon. But here's the thing. The only people that are going to look at that as a legit knockout and take that as a bad sign on the UFC are people that legitimately don't care about the UFC or mixed martial arts at all in the first place. So why does that matter? Do you know what I mean? Like... Like, I guarantee you the UFC, Data White, and all of those people, they don't care what those people's perception of is of mixed martial arts or UFC. Those aren't the people that they're making money off of. That's not the people that they're selling to. That's not the people that are buying their fights. You know what I mean? So. Israel Adesanya again. Uh, that's for the middleweights, Daniel Lyman. And Cody Stamen, green for the bantamweight division. Men's, Jonathan McClay. Valentina Shevchenko. She is women's flyweight division. Pablo Chacon. And Gokhan Saki for the men's light heavyweight division. And Daniel Lyman. And Jan Blakowicz, he is, I believe, light heavyweight. Anderson versus Blakowicz. And prior decision loss to Corey Anderson. I believe he is under uh, light heavyweight. I'll double check though, but light heavyweight is Daniel Lyman. But why? Why why would they care, Arthur? Like they know their market. They already know who they're selling to. They know the the channels that they can grow mixed martial arts in, you know what I mean? Rose Namajunas for the strawweight women's division, Arthur Sears. Conor McGregor, lightweight, Daniel Lyman. Jeff Neal, welterweight. That's for uh, Arthur Sears. Kamaro Usman, he is... Is Usman light heavyweight? He's not, right? Welterweight. There you go. Sorry. Um, Arthur Sears. Aljamain Sterling, bantamweight. Jonathan McClay. And nice Conor McGregor. That is... Is he lightweight in this, right? Yeah. Lightweight and Daniel Lyman. Mike Perry, welterweight silver. Arthur Sears. Dustin Poirier for lightweights. And Daniel Lyman. And Gokhan Saki, again, light heavyweight. And Daniel Lyman. Thanks, Steve. Welterweight.
Yeah. UFC and ESPN already knows who's going to buy their pay-per-views. They know who to market to. They're... If they wanted to go into the UFC celebrity channels and, and figure out who to market to, I'm going to guess it's not the Jake Paul audience. You know what I mean? I don't think you get a lot of aspiring mixed martial artists or boxers watching Jake Paul videos. Just going to guess. Mickey Gall for the welterweights. Arthur Sears. Amanda Nunez, bantamweight. Did we get an autograph? That is Arthur Sears. We did. Nice. For the bantamweight men's. Jonathan McClay, Sean O'Malley signatures. And we have a pink pulsar right behind that. That's going to be numbered out of 42. Holy crap. Lightweight Daniel Lyman, Connor McGregor, Pink Pulsar. Wow. One out of 42. Woo. I guess that's good. Shit. Alexander Pantoja for the flyweights, Arthur Sears. You got Rayoni Barcelos for the bantamweights, Jonathan McClay. <laughs> right, Damien? Ally Quinta, uh, New Jersey real estate. Love that. Yeah, Jake, we did the wrong box last night, man. I, I, I blame myself. Valtina Shevchenko. She is women's... I forget what division she is. But she's the shit. Love me some Shevchenko. Uh, where is she? Well, she's going to that women's division. Chris Weidman for the light heavyweights and Daniel Lyman. I like this guy too. I actually like him. I like uh, Johnny Walker. I think both of those guys are pretty incredible. I also like Anthony Smith, Lionheart. Uh, we've got Brad Riddle, rookie silver. That is light heavy. Uh, sorry, lightweights and Daniel Lyman. That is true, Jake. That is true. You think Valentina Shevchenko is better than Amanda Nunez? She's not. Amanda Nunez is an absolute psychopath. Valentina Shevchenko is an absolute monster, and I love her. Um, I loved her fights against jo Joanna Derjacek, where she just absolutely beats the crap out of her. Because um, Joanna Derjacek, for some reason, thinks she's the greatest women's fighters of all time. Um, and... Like, she's very, very good. And then she meets Valentina, Shev Valentina Shevchenko. And Valentina legitimately just makes her look dumb. She just makes her look absolutely dumb. She she just puts her, like, in the corner and just pummels her. And it's absolutely amazing watching it every single time. But Amanda Nunez legitimately is one of the scariest fighters, let alone female fighters, I think I've ever seen. Like, she has that look in her eyes, like, um, like Vanderlei Silva back in the day, when it was just like, or Kevin Randleman, when it was just like, I'm just going to walk across the, 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 the ring at you, and I'm just going to hurt you. Francis Ngannou for the heavyweights, Pablo Chacon. And Josh Emmett Green for the featherweights. That is Daniel Lyman. 
Nate Diaz for the welterweights. And Arthur Sears. Nate Diaz, welterweights as well. Arthur, Sia, uh, Arthur Sears. Israel Adesanya for the middleweights. Daniel Lyman. And Ovent St. Pru, ex-linebacker for the University of Tennessee. Go Volunteers. Light heavyweight, Daniel Lyman. Who made a uh, who made Joanna Derdechik's head get that massive hematoma on it? Did anybody who who was that fighter? Steve probably knows. Where it looked like she had like a a second forehead just coming out of the side of her other forehead. Karate hottie. Donald Cerrone, cowboy. Uh, Cerrone is light. Is he welterweight? Was that Zhang Weilei? Yeah, that's right. That was impressive. That was one of the most ridiculous hematomas I've ever seen. Whoa. You got Macy Barber for flyweight. Pablo Chacon. John Jones for the light heavyweights. And Daniel Lyman. And Francis Ngannou. Fireworks Green, the heavyweights. And Pablo Chacon. Uh, no Khabib. No. Not yet. Thug Rose. Nice. Women's strawweight division. Arthur Sears. Nice. Rose Silver. Yeah. I love... You know what my favorite part about that? I was watching that with my girlfriend, Steve. Here's Khabib. There you go. And Junior Dos Santos to finish it off. Um, there you go, guys. That was a break. I mean, out of a retail, one retail box. Not bad. So there you go. That was 2021 20, Panini Prism UFC retail two box break. Random division number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, the next two boxes are in the store now. Random division number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.